Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to teach you how to crochet this, that stitch you just saw in the picture. Isn't that stunning? Isn't that beautiful? Now this is the feather stitch. Now I know it looks complicated, don't go, because it's not. It's You can do this. It's not complicated at all. It's actually only a one row repeat. It's very easy to do once you get the hang of it and you'll be able to get the hang of it just like that. And it works up quite quickly it's very very beautiful so it is the same on both sides which is always a plus this stitch would work well for many many things a beautiful afghan scarves cowls hats um baby blankets it's thick so it would work well for like a rug if you wanted to use cotton or uh you know a wash rag or uh, pot holders you know stuff like that hot pads just many uses of this for this that i can think of probably pr practically pretty much anything you want to make a nice warm wrap warm wrap for a uh, winter but like i said it's a very thick uh double-sided uh fabric I think it's gorgeous now as you can see mine's done in an ombre yarn you can actually stripe it if you want um, and I actually did do a sample of it uh, at, at uh, up in a uh, variegated yarn which w looked quite uh, well looked quite good as well or even solid the stitch showed up well in all sorts of uh, yarns so it's very versatile as far as what yarn you choose and what you want to use it for it can be used for many things so do you guys want to go ahead and get started remember it's super super easy looks great in that beautiful aubrey doesn't it okay as always we're going to get started as always don't forget to hit that subscribe button please and hit turn on them notifications don't forget to hit the like button on this video and um com give me a comment below let me know what you think what would you make out of this or what you if you're going to make something out of it, what are you going to make so for this particular stitch this is a stitch tutorial i'm just going to show you how to make this stitch um i used red heart super saver ombre it's a medium weight uh number four 100 percent acrylic and the color i'm using is called jazzy but you know you can use any type of yarn you want depending on the project that you are making and then for the purpose of this tutorial i'm using a size j which is a six millimeter crochet hook now as i mentioned the stitch is very easy to do once you get the hang of it now the stitch multiple for this is just any even number of stitches so whatever it is that you're making say you're going to make a scarf or you just need to ch your chain just needs to be an even number that's it so you just chain until you get to your desired length as long as it's an even number whether that be a scarf a blanket a wrap, a wash rag, anything like that, whatever you're making, chain in an even number of stitches. All right, so once you get your even number of stitches, for row one, what we're going to do is a half double crochet in the second stitch from the hook. So remember, we never count this one that's on our hook. So one, two, and that second one, we're going to half double crochet. And then we're going to put one half double crochet in every stitch until you get to the end of the row. Just like this. So row one is just one half double crochet in every stitch. Just like that. And I'll meet back up with you when I get to the end. All right, so once you make it to the end of row one, we're going to start row two. So we are going to chain one and turn our work. So that chain one does not count as a stitch. It doesn't count as anything. So you can just pretend like it's not even there. We're gonna go right back into this very first stitch right here. And we're gonna do a half double crochet. And then we are going to chain one. And that's what we're gonna repeat for row two. We're gonna skip one and half double crochet into the next and then we're going to chain one repeat it again skip one half double crochet into the next and chain one skip one half double into the next and chain one skip one half double into the next 
and chain one. So this is, I'm gonna repeat this pattern until I get to the end of row two. So skip one, half double into the next, chain one, skip one, half double into the next, and repeat that until you get to the end of the row. All right, I'm coming to the end here. I just did a half double crochet. I'm gonna chain one. I have two stitches left. I'm gonna skip one and end in a half double crochet into the last stitch. And that will end row two. So why don't we go ahead and start row three. And row three is where we're going to start the little, little feather stitches, so to speak. So again, we're gonna chain one and turn our work, which does not count as that chain one does not count as a stitch. So we're gonna go right back into the very first stitch. So that is right here. And a half doubles are kind of weird, but it's this spot right here is the half double. Go into it and half double crochet. And then we're gonna chain one after that. Now we're gonna make our, our feather stitch. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna yarn over and we're gonna go into this chain space right here and draw up a loop. And then we're gonna yarn over again and we're gonna drop down and we're gonna go into this half double crochet below and draw up a loop, but just draw it up a little bit taller, even with your other one, like that. And then we're gonna yarn over one more time and go into the next chain one space and draw up a loop. See that? You'll now have seven loops on your hook. I had to count them just, for, just to make sure. Yarn over and go through all seven loops that are on your hook, like that, and chain one. And there you completed your first little feather stitch. So let's go ahead and do that again. So we're going to yarn over and we're gonna go back we're gonna start our next feather in the same chain space that we ended our last feather stitch in. So we're gonna go into that chain space and yarn over first and go into that chain space and draw up a loop. Then we're gonna yarn over and go down here to this stitch below, right here, into it and draw up a loop. Draw it up just a little bit taller, equal with your other one. And then we're gonna yarn over and go into the next chain space right here and draw up a loop. Seven loops on your hook. Yarn over and go through all seven loops. And chain one. There you have made another feather stitch. Let's do that again. So remember we always start our next feather stitch in the same chain space that we ended our last one. So again, we're gonna yarn over, go into that chain space, draw up a loop. Yarn over and drop down and go into this stitch right down here, right below. Draw up a loop, just draw it up just a little bit taller, even with your other one. And then yarn over and go into this next chain space here. Seven loops. Yarn over and go through all seven loops and chain one. And this is what we're gonna repeat until we get to the end of the row. I'll show you one more time. We're gonna yarn over and go into that same space that we just ended our last feather stitch in and draw up a loop. Yarn over and go into this stitch right here below the chain space. Draw up a loop just a little bit taller, even with your last one and then yarn over and go into the next chain space and draw up a loop. Seven loops on your hook, yarn over and go through all seven and chain one. So I'm going to keep repeating this until I near the end of the row and I'll meet back up with you. All right, so I've made it here to the end and I did my last feather stitch here and I ended in this chain one space here and then I chained one afterwards. Now all I'm gonna do now is I'm not gonna start another feather stitch. I'm just going to half double crochet into my last stitch but make sure you chain one after that last feather and half double crochet into the last stitch. 
Now I know it looks like there's going to be like kind of a hole there, but that's okay because we're going to cover up in the next row. Now row four is the repeat row for the whole pattern. So like I said, it is a one row repeat. So this is the row we're going to repeat from now on is row four. We're going to chain one and turn our work. That chain one does not count as a stitch. So it's very similar to row three. We're going to start off by putting a half double crochet right here in this very first stitch. And you want to make sure that you chain one after that. I always kind of forget that sometimes, but make sure that you chain one after that first half double. Okay, so we're going to do our feather stitches now. So we're going to go into this first chain. We're going to yarn over and go into this first chain space. And draw up a loop and now what we're going to do you can see there's going to be spaces down here and that's what we're going to go into instead of the stitch below so these little spaces right here that are below the chain one spaces so we're going to yarn over go down into this space and draw up a loop a little bit tall just like before just to make it equal with your other ones and then we're going to yarn over and go into the ch next chain one space right here in between the feathers like that draw up a loop seven loops on your hook yarn over and go through all seven and chain one so there is your first feather of your fourth row now let's go ahead and repeat that remember we always start our next feather in the same chain space that we ended our last so again we're going to yarn over go into this chain space here and draw up a loop and then we're going to yarn over and drop down to the space right below this space. So right here, just go into the space and draw up a loop just a little taller to make it even with the rest. And then we're going to yarn over and go into the chain, next chain one space over here. Drop loop, seven loops, yarn over and go through all seven loops without getting hung up like I just did <laughs> there we go I think I got it and then chain one like that and now that's a that's what we're going to repeat for row four so let's do it again we're going to yarn over go into this same spot that we just ended our last feather and draw up a loop yarn over and go down into this space right below this space so right down here draw up a loop a little taller to make it equal because you're going down a row make it equal like that and then yarn over and go into your next chain space i just got to feel around with my finger right there it is and draw up a loop seven loops on your hook yarn over and go through all seven and chain one here we go now we're working it let's do it again Yarn over and go into the same chain space that we ended our last feather. Draw up a loop. Yarn over and drop down and go into this space right below. And this time we draw up a little bit longer loop. And then we're going to yarn over and go into the next chain space. Just fill around. You'll feel it right there. Draw up a loop. Seven loops on your hook and yarn over and go through all seven and as you can see it's pretty much similar to row three except for we're putting our feathers in the spaces uh, below the chain spaces below of the feathers before as opposed to this stitch row down here again yarn over go into the same chain space as your last feather yarn over again and go in to this spot right here the row below draw up just a little bit longer of a loop and yarn over and go into the next chain space feel around find it with your finger draw up a loop seven loops yarn over and go through all seven and chain one now i'm going to continue this pattern until i get to the uh near the end of the row and i'll show you how we end it all right i'm coming to the end now this is how we're going to end every row from now on so i just did a feather stitch and i chained one so i'm going to do one more feather stitch here so i'm going to go back into this chain space that i ended my last feather in draw up a loop i'm going to yarn over and i'm going to drop down to this space right below 
and then that's where I draw my just a little bit longer loop and then I'm going to yarn over and go into the last chain space sometimes it's hard to find but you gotta it's right there seven loops yarn over and go through all seven chain one and then we're going to end by putting a half double crochet into our last stitch so that is row four and that is the repeat row look how cool that looks the same on both sides it is such a unique stitch and like i said it looks so cool even if you change colors at the end of every row whether you use a solid color a variegated color a striped color a uh solid color it looks good um in any any yarn in my opinion i think it does so it's just a repeat of row four now so again you're just going to chain one just like we did turn our work and then we would half double into that very first stitch it's always hard to go into that very first stitch that very first half double like that and make sure you chain one after that one and then we start again so doing our feather so we'll yarn over go into this space draw up a loop yarn over and drop down and go into one row below into this space right here draw up a little bit longer loop and then yarn over and go into the next chain one space and i always kind of got to feel with my finger to find out where it is right there draw up a loop seven loops yarn over and go through all seven and chain one so i'm just repeating row four and after a while you'll see that it's it'll be very easy for you to see these holes in the row below because they'll start to line up and it just gets easier and it just gets quicker and you'll be making something super cool in no time let me go ahead and finish this row and i'll show you a good way to finish off uh, the pattern i'm going to show you how to end your repeat row one more time so i've made it to my last uh, uh chain one space here i just finished this uh feather stitch and I chained one so again I'm going to yarn over and go into that same spot as my last feather draw up a loop yarn over drop down and go into the space below draw up a loop a little bit taller and I'm going to yarn over and go into the last chain one space is sometimes a little tricky to find but there he is go into that draw up a loop seven loops yarn over and go through all seven loops chain one and end with a half double crochet into your last stitch and remember that is the repeat row i just did before i just showed you how to end it again so you just keep repeating row four and after some repeats you'll start to get a very very <laughs> gorgeous looking fabric I really, really love the looks of this, and I actually have a project in mind um, with this, but I would love to see what you create with it. Now, let me go ahead and show you a good way uh, that you could finish it off. Say you were making a blanket and you wanted to ha have a nice finishing edge. I would just do a half double crochet edge to match this, or you know, a half double crochet border if you wanted to, but if you just wanted to clean up the top edge, if you're making a scarf or something, since we did half double at the bottom, I would actually just do a half double crochet at the top. This would be a finishing edge. This is as an example. You don't have to do this, but you could chain one and turn, and you would want to put a half double crochet back into that very first half double crochet. And then you'd want to put a half double into the chain one space, and a half double into the eye of your feather. So right there and a half double into the next chain one space and a half double into the eye of that feather remember this is this optional this is just a kind of a and into the chain space and into the eye of the feather um, this is just a way that you could finish it off to make the top look like the bottom since we did begin with the row of half double crochet just by putting a half double crochet in every uh chain one space and the eye of every 
feather until we get to the end of the row, which I'll be there in just a second. So go ahead and finish it off here. But this is not at all necessary. So some people ask me how you finish off certain stitches. And this is this, if I was making something, this would be the way, like a scarf or blanket, this would be the way I would finish it. But remember, whatever you're making is yours, so you do it your way, however you'd like. Oh, I need to go into that space. And when you get to the end here, go into that last eye of your last feather, go into the last chain space, which is sometimes hard to see, and then half double into your last stitch. So that would be a, a, cho a, a you know, an example of a finishing row that you could have that would match up to your bottom. But that's it. I hope you enjoyed my uh, tutorial. I hope you were able to follow along. I would really love to see what you create out of the stitch. It's super cool. And I'm going to make something out of it too. So make sure, like I said, that you subscribe. Turn them notifications on so you don't miss what I make out of this. I already know what it's going to be. And I think that you'll enjoy it. Bye, everybody. Thanks for watching.